Hi everyone, Clifford here. How much control do you have over your paddle? Okay, the longer the ball stays in the face of your paddle, more control you have, more spin you can generate. Okay, in this video, we're gonna go over some drill technique that gonna allow you like to improve your thinking and your volleys. Okay, without further ado, let's go right into it. Only 21% of the people that watch our channel are subscribed to the channel. This is your way to support us, okay? Just give us a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe, so we can keep bringing you like more awesome content, all right? Let's go to our thing now. Okay, one of the reasons you're missing sometimes your third shot drop, it is because you can't control the speed you hit the ball, okay? So I've designed like a drill that's gonna help you like control that. We put three corn, on the court okay the first one is very close to the baseline okay so now your first shot is gonna be very close so you have to hit it like very soft okay and the second one is like almost at the kitchen okay and the next one it's over the net so your goal you're gonna try to hit those corn with your third okay so the drill will start like this ag gonna feed me some ball okay the first one, oh, AJ. <laughs> okay, first one, I have to leave it shot, okay? Second one, I'm gonna go in the kitchen, and the third one, I'm gonna hit it over the net. The first one, my hand has to be very soft, okay? And the second one, I go a little bit further, and the third one, I'm gonna hit it over the net. Let's say my first shot, this is 5%, okay? The second one is gonna be 20 okay and the next one is gonna be 35 okay if I hit 35 every time if I hit 35 every time I'm gonna get the ball over the net okay so now I'm, I'm gonna maintain the speed go so let's say I start again I put in the first one second one and I'm gonna hit my 35 okay I hit my 35 keep hitting my 35 so you don't have to think about it so I know 35 that ball is going over the net every time okay let's go again uh, your first shot your hand has to be very soft okay for that think about your grip okay your grip should be like three in a scale of ten the second one you have to hit it a little bit harder so your grip gonna be four four and the next one, when we want your ball to get over the net, your grip should be, in my case, my grip is always like five or six. Because sometimes it's not a technique issue. You just cannot control the speed the way you hit the ball over your paddle, okay? You're gonna try to take the ball out of the air. Okay. When we're thinking, okay? So what does that mean? Every time I take the ball out of the air, I got one point. When you do it, you got one point. But if you hit the net, it doesn't matter. We're gonna play five point. If you hit the net once, it doesn't matter if you have four points, you're gonna get back to zero again, okay? So this is a drill for you to take better decision, okay? Sometimes it's better somebody take the ball out of the air, but you don't hit it in the net, okay? So you have to move your opponent and still keep the ball very low, unattackable, okay? So let's go. So here we go. Nice. One, two, 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 three, and I start to zero, okay? You don't want to do that because sometimes we try to be so conservative and we make like an false error. So right now I just lost three points, okay? If I just let you get it, out of the air, let's try again. Now we stop. One, one. Two. Go. Three. doesn't matter you still had zero okay zero three 
Okay. Four. Four one. And five. All right. That's it. The next drill is about volley. We're gonna be volleying in the net but with a small difference, okay? Every time he volley the ball at me, I'm gonna block it and after that send it to him. And he's gonna do the same, okay? We're gonna start at the net and after that we're gonna move to mid court and we're gonna finish at the baseline. Let's say if somebody's aiming your feet, okay? So what you have to do, you have to control it first. Every time my first shot is like a control shot, I put the ball in front of me so it could be easy for me to send it back okay because even if I grab the ball behind my back I'm still gonna put it in front of me so when I try to when I try to drop it in the kitchen the ball can just go to the kitchen okay so I'm gonna do the same thing this is a great way for you like to improve your volley fast hand and improve your third shot drop okay so all you have to do control it it doesn't matter you can control it with your back end and send it back with your back end or you can control it with your forehand and send it back with your forehand it doesn't matter or you can do you can mix it okay you can control with your back end and send it with your forehand you can control with forehand and send it with your back end okay it's depend of this situation okay when you're good at it when you understand that you're gonna see how easy it's gonna be for you like to control the ball you're never gonna get jammed you're never gonna react too soon okay you're gonna be able to control everything and place the ball whatever all right guys that's all i have for you today and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time